Hey guys, welcome to my first ever video on my brand new channel, Little Tuber Josie. Today we're gonna to be trying out some poppin' cooking Japanese candies. Making some this. Yeah, that. What you'll need for this, you'll need obviously your pop a cookie box, some water, optional, some scissors. Okay. <laughs> Just speed this part up because obviously no one needs to. No one needs to see that anyway. Who needs instructions, lol? Especially when they're in a foreign language that you're currently studying. Anyway. Okay, so here's everything in that little box, but we're not gonna use the box because <laughs> who needs instructions, right? Anyway. We're gonna wing this. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this. So here we have a little tray and... Where's the box? Um, you said no one needs this. You know what? Maybe I lied. You know what? Life doesn't give you instructions, all right? Life doesn't give you instructions. Instead, it gives you limes. I mean, lemons. It gives you lemons. And you know what? It don't give you anything else. <laughs> okay. So first of all, you see this little tab? You need to cut it. We need to cut. Yeah, well thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this blindly. What is that to <laughs> Okay, first of all, you're gonna take your optional scissors. See, this is optional. Yeah, optional. Yeah. Take your scissors and you're gonna cut off this little tab. Ta-da! Put them all on the side, right? We'll start off. We're gonna start off by making our broccoli because children need their vegetables. Anyway, so it's gonna be conjoined with this little orange piece, which I'm pretty sure the green is. piece. I know, but it's conjoined. Look at this. Mm -mm. If I were you, I would keep a little trash bag in handy. This is just the one that it came with, right? But um, I would just keep the trash bag in handy. Works good for the trash pieces. Anyway. So we're gonna take a little broccoli packet and we're gonna put it in the little slot that looks like a little tree. Mushroom. Mushroom with specks. Anyway. With dots on it. Yeah. In it. You're gonna pour the little broccoli little bits. Broccoli bits. It's a broccoli powder. This is weird. You should not be. I blame GMOs for this. I blame the internet. Ta-da! Little tab water. You're gonna go and you're gonna pour it in your broccoli little place. And then it turns all green. Ta da! Just like that. And set this all to the side because you're gonna wanna save it for later. Yeah. Then, take into this little plastic fork, <laughs> stir it up a little bit. Stir it up. And you're gonna feel it get a little bit kind of jello ish. Yep. It's weird. Anyway. Ta da! You might wanna grab a napkin because you're gonna use this for a couple times. Alrighty, so once you got your broccoli done, next we're gonna get this little egg roll. Not an actual egg roll. It's an egg. Do you know that, roll it. do you guys how to make an egg roll? Crack an egg, just get an egg and roll it. Egg roll. So this one, this orange packet that was attached to the green one is gonna be your egg. So, just like the other one before, the little, what would you call that little, <laughs> Space little, with little bump roads. The little space with ridges is where you want to pour it, so don't be shy and generously pour it all, all around it. it. And then using your little tab, I told you it would come back. You're gonna pour it in and all over the place. And this I one you're gonna want to. This one you're gonna be wanting a little careful because you want it to spread it out real evenly. Otherwise it's gonna come out really messed up looking, and you don't want that. So. Next one you're gonna do, you're gonna do this little squid, or as I've studied in Japanese, it's called a taco. Anyway, you're gonna take this little pink packet that's attached to this little brown packet. Oh, gonna... could I have a taco? That means octopus. Yeah, it does. I hope I said that right. If not, a lot of Japanese people are gonna be very angry with me. Isn't that sweet? Anyway, so brown That'd on the be side. Funny if it <laughs> Take this pink one, and then, as you can note, oh wow, that would have been really helpful from the start, wouldn't it have been? What? It literally tells you in picture format, 
So you're gonna take this one, do the same thing, throw away yeah. a little face. See this little squid imprint? That's where you're gonna wanna pour it in. You're gonna wanna pour it in. All of it. All be, of it. Be, be careful. Mix, mixing this one is difficult. Not really. Then taking your little tab of water, once again, Hold on. pour it in. Like so. That is a lot of water. That was not necessary. You're gonna wanna go and mix some of the powder on the edges where the tentacles are because it likes to miss that sometimes. The water's okay if it gets out. That doesn't really matter. You don't want a lot of water anyway. Go mix it like so. Ta-da! Should look something like that. Okay. Now we're gonna get ready for the big boys. You see this Big back at the blue. Yeah. There was another one too. There is red. Red. Yeah, that's red. Cool. Orange. 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 There's blue and orange. You're gonna want to use the blue one. So forget the orange for now. Anyway, you're gonna want to use this bad boy. And this is gonna be your rice. This is what's gonna help make the panda face. Okay. See, you can see the panda shape on here. And you're just gonna. Rip this guy open. Yeah. If I can find the open thing. Just, just, just open it. Open. Just cut it open. <laughs> this is where your handy dandy scissors come in handy. If you can find them again, here they are. Your handy and then dandy scissors. Snip, 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 snip. Done. Put your blue packet. You and you pour, pour it in into the, the next gap. And then here we go. And you, the huge one, not, not the less two holes. You pour in your water. And it should make some sticky rice. And um, you should not, don't be afraid to put some more water if you don't have enough. That's one you so need. So you remember the one I told you to throw away? Yeah, bring it back. Whoops. Yeah, down the ground. So again. obviously this is not going to work out. So what you're going to want to do, all right. Take your handy dandy scissors again. Yeah. Handy dandy scissors. And it shows you where to cut. Exactly. Be careful not to cut any of the illustrations because that, those are vital. So, uh, see this little tab right here? Yeah. This is where you're going to want to cut along. I mean, yeah. technically you don't need scissors for this, but because I'm a lousy thing, yeah. I'm a lousy like scratcher and I'm afraid I'm going to rip this even more. Oh, no, never mind. Then here we go. You're gonna want to cut it across here and here as well. Cause this shows you on the front. Look, just be look, careful, like I said. Look at just it. Don't cut any of the illustrations because those yeah. are pretty important to this next. You topic. cut some illustrations. I didn't cut any illustrations, dude. Huh? There you go. Ta-da! A little looks something like this. Uh, little circles and ovals right here. This is vital for the next step. For this next step, you're gonna want to get your hands a little dirty. So. Wash your hands clean. after this. Make sure they're clean beforehand. In this case, I did go wash my hands, I promise. Yep. Okay. You're gonna wanna take your white stuff. Your little yeah, white rice. I'm just kidding. Huh? Right? You're gonna have to separate them. I know. Many, many levels. It is a little powdery, but that's to be expected. And You're gonna wanna separate this into four little pieces. That's why. So. I said four. <laughs> you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to separate two little individual small balls these are gonna be the ears for the panda bear okay this is a little too big yeah. you're gonna want to uh, cut a semi bigger one than the ears are this yeah. is for the little triangle and then yeah. this is the head of the panda yeah you're gonna want to roll them in your hand into a little ball it doesn't have to be perfect right just like but, tomato but shape it somewhat like a ball Squish it so its width is a little bit more bigger than its height. So you have this oval kind of shape. You're gonna wanna measure it here on this little circle that they provide you with. How helpful. And I'll send it the little Ta -da. ears. There's one. And then the ears. do the exact same thing with the little balls for the ears, except in this case, you're not gonna wanna flatten them so much. Instead, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're the good size for the ears. So here's one. If they're too big, your panda will kind of look weird. If they're too big, obviously you can cut some off. Yeah. And if you don't want to and you're losing like my sister, then you don't have to. It's okay. So this for, for this next step, 
it's gonna be really important that you full pay attention to this one. This one you're gonna to wanna to make a little one, a little incision on the top. Incision, yeah, that's the word. Little snip. You go in the indents that they made for you. For this is very important, otherwise it's gonna look really weird. Just Don't like pour that. Too much. Cool. Then you're gonna pour some into the little indent rectangle. That's gonna be for your little what's it called? Triangle. Help me. And then you're gonna to wanna to pour the rest into the little hole over here. This is what's gonna cover the ears. Yep. Then taking your little squishy ball that you had earlier, the one that we made for the panda head, that you're gonna to wanna to go. Like you're gonna to wanna to go pick a side, doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna to wanna to put this flat against the face. You're gonna to wanna to press it softly into there. Perfect. And then have it come on out. Ta-da! And this one for the little triangle thing that I still can't recall the name for until later. Put it. You're gonna want to form this into a little triangle. Yeah. Do your best, obviously, right? No one's perfect here. Then taking this little triangle thing, you're gonna want to put it in the rectangle. No, that's not. not all the way, like halfway there. There we go. There's one side, and you can do it on both sides. This is just me particularly. Then the last two, the little ears, like you're gonna want the wanna, many snowballs. You wanna take them, and you're gonna drop them in. One at a time. <laughs> and taking your little fork, you're gonna wanna go, you're gonna wanna mix it in there. Make sure it gets all black. Just Chill wash a little your hands. something like this. Yep. Do that for each of them. Yeah. And then set them off to the side. Look at this little brown packet. You're gonna wanna open it. And in this case, because there's no more spaces in here, yeah. you're gonna have to clean out that little one, that little gap, that little. Hello. You're gonna wanna pour it in where that white one was, except make sure that the white one's empty. <laughs> yeah. Ta da! Taking your little tub of water, you're gonna wanna pour it in again, and again, and again. Ta da! It's gonna wanna, some more water, just a little bit. Gonna wanna mix it together. This is gonna form a chicken nugget. You wanna take your chicken nugget and you're gonna wanna form it and shape it just like a chicken nugget. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is not. See? And then you're gonna wanna set it out to your side with your little pan head and ears and your little triangle. This is our last step, guys. This will be your final packet over here. This is gonna make your noodles. Is Take your handy dandy scissors for the final time. Zip, 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 zip. Ta da! Hold on. And just like you put it the chicken nugget beforehand and the rice beforehand, you're gonna put it in that the same, big old gap. The same old chunk of gap. <laughs> then you're gonna wanna place your droplets once again. This yeah. one doesn't matter if it's soggy, yeah it does. I'm gonna wanna mix it. <laughs> then taking this handy dandy little bag that they give you here. That comes with the box. Here what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna you're gonna wanna stuff that paste of noodles in here, that peach like noodles. And then once you're done, you use the directions say right here, which we don't need. Cause it says on there. You're gonna and wanna you snip the corner. Snip up. Okay, you're gonna wanna pinch the rest of the bag just like an icing bag. Yep. Then taking like... your handy dandy scissors for the final time, snip the corner. Then you're gonna wanna go and you're gonna wanna make little noodles. Just gonna wanna slide it out. It looks, yeah, that's noodles. Yeah, cause that's a thing. For the final, 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 final step, right? Cause I said that beforehand. What you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to pop the stuff out now because it has hardened. And then we're gonna assemble our panda. So you're gonna want to take his little square head. Yeah, square. Yeah. Oval. Put Circle. his little Circle. ears on here. Just squeeze them on there. Make sure not to paint the rest of his face because he needs to be white. And here we go. Here's our finished project. We have our egg. We got our squid, or in this octopi octopus. We our have taco. our noodles. Our taco. We got our broccoli, half bitten. I'm kidding, it didn't come out right. 
We have our chicken nugget. We have our panda, and we have our it's triangle. Sushi. It's a triangle. It's a I think it's a rice ball. I think it looks like I think sushi. It's a rice ball. Ever watch Fruits Basket? It's a rice ball. Here we go. Taste test. I wanna try the noodles because <laughs> ramen queen is hungry. Ugh. Save some for me. <laughs> I can't slurp them like my regular ramen. <laughs> oh my gosh! They're falling! They're falling! They're falling! <laughs> grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Ah. <laughs> I'm frightened. <laughs> I'm shook. <it. laughs> I'm gonna try the the egg roll here. Why is it dripping? An egg roll shouldn't do that. Save some. Tastes like lemon. I like that. I meant the whole thing. Yeah, you can like sucker punch the noodles in your mouth. <laughs> That's my job. Nugget. Chicken nugget looked really good. Hmm. Can I taste it? It's disgusting, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> All right guys, well, that's it for Little Super Josie trying out some Japanese candies. If you like this video, don't be afraid to like and comment. Comment how awful this was. Comment how great this was. Any feedback is great. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and, and if you like this video, please let me know so that we can keep going with these videos and leave a comment below leave a comment below tell me which one was your favorite which one turned out the best honestly i think the chicken nugget was the best but <laughs> so like comment subscribe and i will see you next time see if you guys. have any feedback or any ideas for me to try out next time in little tuber josie let me know Alrighty then later see you guys